So today I thought I would answer one of the main questions that we keep getting asked about on Facebook and that is in regards to what supplements or what can I do to help strengthen my immune system so I reduce my risk or minimize the consequences of getting the flu or an upper respiratory infection like a common cold uh, during the winter season. So there are lots of things that you can do and I have lots of ideas to share but I think I'll start with one of my favorites which is vitamin D. So vitamin D is actually a hormone that the body actually utilizes and has receptors on the, the cell membranes and those receptors when activated by vitamin D turn on genes that make uh, peptides that help fight against uh, microbials or bacteria or, or viruses. And so vitamin D can be an effective supplement to be used in the winter time to help us. Now one of the interesting things about vitamin D is it's the sunshine vitamin. And so there are interesting studies looking at how areas that don't get enough sunlight have low levels of vitamin D have increased flu and uh, upper respiratory infections. So there was an interesting study done not too long ago in Sweden where they gave 4,000 international units of vitamin D3 to individuals, I think it was about 140 individuals who either had immunocompromised or were getting recurrent bacterial infections and they did this for one year. Now you know Sweden is way up north and they don't get a lot of sunshine during the winter and they get more during the summer. They put them on vitamin D for the whole year what they found was a 60% reduction in upper respiratory infections in these immunocompromised individuals. Fascinating study. In Mongolia, there was a published study in pediatrics looking at children who were having recurrent upper respiratory infections. They put them on just a small dose of 300 international units of vitamin D3 and found another 50% reduction in the upper respiratory infections in these kids. So vitamin D can be a really potent uh, adjunct to boosting your immune system during the winter season. One of my favorite studies that I love to tell patients about was one done in a nursing home. And what they did is they, they gave vitamin D 4,000 international units to each of the residents in the nursing home, but none of the staff got it. Well, interestingly enough, that year, there were more members of the staff that got the flu than the residents. And so this again shows the protective effects of vitamin D. My recommendations are to be somewhere between 2,000 to 4,000 international units during the winter season, starting sometime in October and going all the way through March. If you're a child under 10, I think according to this study at least 300 international units, but you can do as much as 1,000. Now, if you get an acute infection, what the studies are showing is that you can go as high as 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 during that short period of time while you're having the infection, and it should shorten the course of the infection. So this is our first pearl for this season. Look for more videos as we share more insights to different immune-supporting vitamins, herbs, and minerals over the next few weeks. Thanks. Thank you.